Yeah, but the hurricane actually doesn't come up on the map, which is interesting. <laughs> um, so it just affects you like randomly, I guess. Um, I've got to find somewhere where they get metals. Over here, okay. And only in a couple of days as well. So that's why I slowed it down to 0 0.1 speed. Metal, metal, metal. Jeez, I don't have much. 16. Look at all that money we got though. Jeez, that's a massive amount. Okay, thankfully they're making metals over here as well. Speed things up a little. And let's go back to metals. Buy all 30 of them. How much do you want actually? 70. And that's only in a couple of days as well. Oh no, 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 you don't have any. Jeez, there's a lot of towns over here. Gibraltar. Nope. Oh, let's go to Coro. Let's just zoom in so we can actually click on this. No, no metals for you. No metal for you. There we go. Porto Cabello. What about Caracas? No. God damn it. Maybe we should explore a little bit here, but we got a mission to do. That's the most important thing really right now. Okay. Damn, we're close to unlocking the amount of metals that we need. But... Cast an eye on Port Royal. Stop telling me to look at Port Royal. There we go, Granada, let's see. No metal, okay. St. Lucia, metal, yes. Alright, let's just check how much we needed actually. Tasks, 70. So we only need two. Okay, that's great. Two metal. Okay, fantastic. Now we can head over to Santiago, I think it was. Let's just make sure. Get a check. There we go, Santiago. And we're getting 20 grand with that as well. Including like selling that. So we might actually even level up because of how much money we'll have now. And Santiago, sell. Nice. Well, we're not even close to leveling up, to be honest. But well, what I could do is head over to Port Royal. And I probably could buy another ship. Unfortunately, we can't. Oh, it seems like there's a disease around here. I have valuable information for you. For $5,000, a piece of a treasure map. Let's just buy it. Congratulations, you just acquired a new piece of a treasure map. You can view treasure maps in your logbook. You will often receive additional pieces as rewards for assignments, mostly in the tavern. Okay, that's cool. Let's just check what this guy wants. I have the following task for you. Okay, well they got hit by the plague again and they want the textiles and the clothes yet again. So, I accepted that mission, probably rather stupidly, but... Okay. Whatever. Um, actually, I really shouldn't be accepting mission from them anymore. Anyway. Okay, you guys have clothes. So let's head over to St. Augustine. Let's see if St. Augustine actually has any missions for me as well. But we'll have to wait up a little. Clothes. Wow, clothes cost a lot of money. How much clothes did he actually want? 50. Wow, 50 and 47. Okay. Okay, 47 of textiles. Well, we're nearly there. I'm lo I know I'm losing a lot of money with the way I'm trading Cast because I'm just buying so much crap, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I really should be checking if they actually have textiles, etc. Oh, they do have textiles, though. Okay, so we want 47. Great. And they're not producing any clothes, are they? Okay, we've got to find some clothes manufacturers somewhere. Maybe the Dutch. I'm sure the Dutch are renowned for their world class clothing. No? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Nope. Come on. Nope. There we go. The Turk Islands it is. 
Cast an eye on Port Royal. I don't understand what you want me to keep on doing. I guess you want me to do that mission with all those people. I do want to sell that. Um, we've got the right amount of textiles, I just need clothes, so... Jeez, they cost a lot of money. And let's just bring in some settlers. Oh, wow. Lots of people from the Turk Islands love me. Nice. Um, clothes, clothes. Do you produce clothes? No, you do not. Nope. Jeez, not many people produce clothes anymore, do they? They're all little stingy bastards. Hmm. Jesus Christ. What about, like, Cayman Islands? No? I guess they're all bums in Cayman Islands. Alright, well, let's go back up here to check the Florida Keys. No? I guess let's just go back to, up to St. Augustine. And let's just check the time that we need to complete this mission by. 3rd of August. We've still got lots of time. So where's our ship? Alright. I guess I must have unselected it. Actually, 47 and 56. That should be more than enough. Yeah, there we go. What am I talking about? Now, where, 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 where do we need to go? Ah, oh, to Port Royal. Okay. Ship. Yes, you come up here. To Port Royal. Sell your goods there. Uh, when we can. There we go. Um, sell. And sell the clothes as well. Reputation increased by 5%. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just head back inside over here. And I just want to check um, some of these things. I need help in my search. No, whatever. I don't care. To be honest, uh, what's this? The warehouse. You are a true hero. You are currently incurring daily warehouse costs of 10 coins in Port Royal. That's kind of worrying. I don't want to make lose too much money. But what I can do is actually, what I should do, is go to the dock and equip and give them those people. 70 of them, in fact. It's a lot of people. Okay. Um, so, how about we head over to... Port-au-Prince, I'm sure they've got a mission for us, so let's accept that, whatever it may be. If only there were, like, icons that told us that the um, people have a mission for us. Unfortunately, they don't. Let's just check the dock and see if we can get any workers. Okay. Um, what I want to invest in, I should have done that, actually. We don't even, even, even need to sail to Port Royal. I want to build another ship. Unfortunately, I can't, can I? Okay, right, we go to Tortuga, head over in here, into the city, and no, we don't want, the, you don't want a ship, do you? We can take more of your people, though. Damn right, I'm going to do it. Head over to Isabella, see if they want anything, like a ship or anything like that. Oh, they want a mission. I have the following task for you. Hmm. It's actually pretty good, 6th of August. Jeez, the, a year just goes really by, really quickly by in this game. Um, hmm. Okay, let's accept that. Okay. There's also a list of pirates that we can destroy, but I'm not too keen on that because it's just the trading missions that we want to do. Well, let's just uh, get some more people into our city. Thank you. Okay, we've got to find some cotton. Cotton, cotton, cotton. Actually, we, we produce cotton over here, in Port Royal. Look at that. Aren't I just a genius? So, if we go to here, and we go to... We've got 64 cotton. How much do we need? I don't think we even needed that much. Um, tasks, 79 cotton. Alright. Oh, we didn't need, we do need a fair bit. 
I wonder why we don't get it for free, because we're, we're the ones that are creating it. Anyway, what if we um, head back out here, click, click, click on that, and does it show how much we actually produce? No. We've got four businesses, I guess. Two houses. We've got a reputation of 100%. Everything is going just fine. What if I go back to Port Royal and create some new businesses? Actually, I better not because... Oh, we've got two people wanting to talk to us. I need help with my... And a teacher. I know all the tricks when it comes Ooh, to... Oh, select a convoy anchored in this town if you want to accept my services. Okay. Okay, well, we've got to first sell our convoy in there. And then we should be set. Let's see what it'll do. Teacher. All oh, right. I know all the tricks when it comes to airships. Hmm. Fenton Jackson. Jeez, that guy always wants to help us, doesn't he? So that just incre increases the ability of us to um, repair our own vessel. I'm not too keen on that. We're incurring more and more costs, which I don't understand why, but okay. Should we upgrade our warehouse? Existing warehouse space, required warehouse space. Okay, so I think it's time that we actually built a warehouse then. So we can build another one. Build. And where should we build it? Over here. Seems like the perfect spot. Okay. So leave, leave that. Okay, fantastic. And we need some more adobe bricks. Don't we have any? We used them all up, have we? We have indeed, okay. Well, firstly, before I get into the adobe bricks, I need some cotton, don't I? Some more of it, at least. So let's find out where we can get some cotton. There we go, right over there. Because we have that mission that we need to complete um, for... Who exactly? For Isabella? Okay. 79. So we still need 15 more. Cotton. There we go. Just bought some extra and go to Isabella. Fantastic. And what else? What other missions do we have? The trading campaign. What do we need for that? Oh, yeah. It's, I really should be going and clicking on every um, city that I go on and, and getting more citizens, but. I'm too lazy to do that, aren't I? Anyway, let's just sell them the cotton. Nice, the popularity in, in Isabella has increased. So that means there'll be a bit more citizens that will want to come over with us. In there. Okay, we've got an increase as well of 20 grand. Always nice. What's over this, over here? Can you help me with my search? No, I don't care. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's head back into the navigation menu and let's just go to Port Royal. Say how everything is going. I don't think we have delivered those goods that we wanted just yet, have we? Oh, it created this. Um, the construction of this building should be completed in one day. What if we speed everything up? There we go. Nice. So now, if I... Well, now the warehouses... As you guys can see, we don't have like any problems because we got 2,000 warehouse space. Okay, so we don't need to actually pay more. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, he watches the market in this town while you are away and you can sell your goods when the price is high enough. Also control the release of goods to your trading routes. Hmm. Let's not hire him because I don't know how to work that just yet. Uh, with that being said, Let's just go to equip. Actually, we don't have any convoys in here, do we? Derp. Let's head over to Cayman. Cast Actually, an Santiago, eye on Port sorry. Royal. And Santiago. See if we can take any more people. We can. Head over to Cayman then. Take some more people as well. While we can. And see if they have any missions for us while we're there. I'm sure they'll have something for us. Actually, why did I just do that? I'm just wasting time. Uh, I've been playing this for way too long now. Um, 
Let's just check the tavern. I can increase your convoy's range of sight. That's not really going to help us, though. Good old Fenton Jackson, our captain. Uh, let's just go to the dock. Um, equip. All oh, right, we already did that, didn't we? No one wants to talk to us, never. Which is unfortunate. And they just head back and head over to Cancun. It is then. Still, the people over there. Equip people. Ooh, we got fourteen. Nice. Cicel. Actually, all these people should like me because I am trading with them continually. Oh. No, no, over here. Sixteen people. All right, we're gonna have to head over back to Port Royal. I'm going to end this episode once we get those 200 people that we need in Port Royal. It's 200 immigrants. Equip and take them back. Okay. We need about 43 more people. Let's head over to Providence then. See him. Oh, four. That's not good. What if we head over this way to Veracruz and these towns that we are um, trading with continuously. Come on, dock. There we go. Equip. Oh, nice. Hit the max. Oh, we hit the jackpot over there. Speed things up to one speed and just speed it up back to ten speed so we can travel a little faster. Let's zoom in as well. Cast Seems to be an fine. eye on Port Royal. Okay, I will have completed this mission finally. So now you can shut up finally. What happened now? With and the town has free sailors. These can be hired onto convoys as sailors. Every sailor on board receives a daily wage. Sailors can be fired at any time without drawbacks, at which time they revert to settlers. Okay. Lately, there has been talk of another young captain. Pablo Galliano has braved storms, fought pirates, and supplied those in danger of starving. Elena is pleased at the chance to award this man a decoration, for she greatly admires his dedication. But not everyone in the crowd shares her enthusiasm. Oh, did you see that? It seems Elena has her eye on this Pablo Seville. She positively adores him. I'm curious to see if you too will one day succeed in winning her respect, because that certainly would not hurt your reputation with the Viceroy. But enough chit-chat. Let us get back to your tasks. You have attracted settlers to Port Royal, which was good work. Always remember, citizens, workers, sailors, and even the troops stationed in a city are all dependent on a steady influx of settlers. For Port Royal to continue to grow, you must now build two rum distilleries. <laughs> Don't worry, once your rum production really gets going, it will turn a very good profit. Nice. That's what we want. We want massive profits. So, as each business um, creates 25 jobs and each job brings four new citizens to the town, the construction of your cotton farms has helped Port Royal grow by an additional 200 residents. We should now help Port Royal grow even further. Build two rum distilleries in Port Royal and fully staff them with new workers. Okay. So, each business has 25 jobs and each job brings four new citizens. So, that's going to be, what, 100 new people per business. So, 200 people again for the rum distilleries. Okay. Wood and sugar are required to produce rum. Uh, these raw materials are drawn from your warehouse on a daily basis. Always make sure that you have enough raw materials in stock before construction of the distilleries is completed. Our town requires a hundred settlers per business. Okay, if required, supply new settlers and living space. I probably have to build some new living spaces for the people. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I think that's part three that we're already up to. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and well, thanks for watching.